What it do? Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with the In Betweeners 2 full movie. Before we dive in, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. You guys got a favorite video suggestion, you can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. What we got? crazy because I'm sad. I'm sad that this is it. This is the end of the in between this journey. And if you would like to check this journey out with no copyright text, no background noise, you can go subscribe to my Patreon and check it out. There. This is this is sad. These are my guys. I feel bonded with these guys. I feel like a fifth member of the group. And this is gonna be it. Greetings, muggles. <laughs> oh, what a fucking goddy what a I told you, you were. It's not really fancy dress, you dick. Oh, what? No way! <laughs> These are the jokers from my course I was telling you about. You lot. <laughs> Although, technically, I didn't fall for it, as there's no way I could have known. Oh, which thing you're going? <laughs> Into the party. You're dressed like Harry Potter. There's no way you're coming in here, you Ooh. fucking plum. You could at least have come as someone sexy. Mine is sexy. <laughs> Guys? That's tough. Guys? Oh, good job, Harry. <laughs> well, this is a disaster. I've come down from Sheffield for this. It's okay. We'll still have a good weekend. Oh, there's a pub I love just down the road. I'm wearing a gym skirt. It's a student town. No one will care. <laughs> and no pants. Right home. <laughs> Right side. Judges? <laughs> Fuck. Sorry. Sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Fuck me. What a waste of a weekend. I thought you said they were your best mates at uni. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll find us some mates. I've got this amazing app called Grinder. Made loads of new mates for it. <laughs> oh my gosh. You never guess what? Some. Neil is such an idiot. He's such an idiot, but you can't help but love him. You can't help Grindr, but love him. Made loads of new mates for it. Oh my gosh, you never guess what? Someone's immediately sent you a penis shot? No, I just got an email from Jay. No way. Wait, listen to this. Dear Neil, you fucking weapon. weapon. As, As you know, know, I'm on a mental gap here in Australia. What? Or outback, as they say over here. So I thought I'd email you. Not because I miss you, what? Because this place is a million out of ten and you'll be well chill. Life has never been better. <laughs> it's certainly much better than when I was going out with Jay, who I now no longer think about. I'm living near a town called Sydney, yeah. and working at the most mental club in Australia called Revolutions. I am now their premier number one DJ. Go by the name of DJ Big Penis, which everyone agrees <laughs> is the perfect name. Yeah. I've made so much cashola, which is Australian for money, that I've bought myself a fuck off mansion and filled it full of pussy. <laughs> It's enormous. Before that, I was living with my uncle Brian, who's my dad's cousin. Although he is tragic and obviously not as cool as my dad. What's that? <laughs> oh my anyway, lord. It will come as no surprise to you the number of Aussie birds I'm rooting, which is Australian, the nobbing. Fuck my kangaroos. All big teeth, dancing, and white pouches. I make love to them with a technique I like to call the one pump orgasm. I absolutely love it. 
Name an Aussie bird and I fucked up. John McPherson, check. Dame Edna Everidge, check. Carly and Danny Minogue, freeway. I've done that 10 minutes, I'll be getting off the plane. And mates, I've made loads of cool new mates who come around for dinner and that. Oh. Really, it's all about the birds. Aussie Sheilas just can't get enough of Jay, especially the supermodels. Ooh. Who, by the way, love it up the shit up. <laughs> I wake up by a blowjob from a different girl every single morning. You can imagine what that's like, waking up every morning to a blowy. They keep it so clean. Oh my god. Weeks. Basically, everything's better than when I was with you. They said they keep it so clean, I haven't had to wash my cock in weeks. Oh, Jay is an ultimate BS, bro. He needs to write fiction books, bro. That, that would be Jay's calling in life, bro. If it's so clean, I haven't had to wash my cock in weeks. Basically, everything's better than when I was with Jane, who, as I mentioned, I no longer think about. He thinks about her every day. On the minor side, I've had to punch out a few koala bears, normally when they drop out of the trees and try to fight me. <coughs> 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 Other than that, it's been Bonza, which is Australian for fucking brilliant. Come and stay anytime you like. I guarantee I'll get you sucked drier than Simon's mum's fanny. Say hello to those other two dozy pricks if you see them. <laughs> Tell your Ben Daddy still can't bum me. <laughs> and tell your fit sister that I'd like to. Oh no, come on. What does it say? <sighs> Says I'd like to chew on those massive juicy burger nipples of hers, reach my thumb round and oh no, it's too much. Wait, get off. <laughs> Wait. Oh, there's more. Flip her over. What's a lovely email? Spooge down her face, over her back, clunge, wellies. Anal, anal, anal. This goes on a bit, doesn't it? Australia is right off. Not lying in our you two. Oh, we should have gone to Australia this weekend instead of shitty Bristol. You do know Australia's on the other side of the world. Doubt it. Excuse me. He said doubt it. Last, something decent. Is this seat taken? Oh, yeah. Sorry, it is. <laughs> have you got any friends at university? <clears throat> of course I have, no. Simon. I'm just lucky that I've managed to not get tied down to a clique or a group. Been no free to hang out with anyone and everyone. Or no one. Coming from the man who changed universities just to be with his girlfriend. I've got mates other than Lucy. Pete, for one. Who's Pete? Pete from my halls. I must have mentioned Pete. Pete. Pete, my best mate. My best mate at uni. I mean, I do spend a lot of time with Lucy. Although, she has changed a bit since we were on holiday. Uh -oh. what, what's the word when someone's not nicer? Nastier? Yeah, I think that's it. Maybe. Oh. She's nastier. Right, out. You're barred. Barred? What? Why? That. Yeah. So we're all on the same page. Yeah. That's me, Will McKenzie, yeah. seemingly Bristol University's least popular yeah. undergraduate. And that's my friend Simon, who's got university relationship problems of his own. Mm. Who's this fucking slut, Kirsty Scott? Lucy, are you on my Facebook again? Goodbye, whore. Simon, swear on your hoodie you're not going to cheat on me. Oh, my what? lord. Oh, no, please, Lucy, that's my favourite. <laughs> Lucy. Sorry, Simon, but I just have to be sure. <sighs> I just love you so much. I love you too, Cuddles. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, Lucy crazy, Si. Sorry, I don't, you know, and I hated Carly, but I, I don't know if I, I'd rather you go back to Carly and stay with Crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because, nah, nah, Lucy a little too much. Cuddles. You need to be a free man again, Simon. And finally, there's Neil. At least he's made a new friend. Oh my god, bro! Oh my god! If I'd assumed watching some low level bestiality would be the low point of my night, I was wrong. Oh, not what again. Is your room in space? They Thank you. Take the bed to the roof. I've done a pretty good job, to be fair. Yeah. I hate it here. To be honest, I'm glad I chose not to do uni. More reality than a choice. Exactly. Maybe we should go to Australia. <laughs> and surprise the fuck out of Jay. I was joking. Why? It's got to be better than hanging around old men's pubs and dressing up as magic. Yeah, we got True. four weeks off for Easter. I'm dreading spending it with Lucy. Can we afford it? Well, 
They invented student loans so students could go on holiday. And I've got a Come on now. This month. Apparently I'm the cleverest non-Asian in the department. I definitely do student loans. I definitely, let's just say I took out more than I needed each time. Am I regretting it now? Yes. But they definitely helped. No understand why as soon as they dropped them going to the wall, I'm buying the equipment. I'm just I could have definitely went on holiday. I definitely used one to go on spring break and you definitely use it. They might have invented them for holidays. I might I might have to agree with Simon on this. I might have to agree. Let's just go on holiday. And I've got a sweet bonus this month. Apparently I'm the cleverest non-agent in the department. I suppose I have always wanted to do that traveling. I think I'd be really good at it. Do it properly, not like Jay. How can you be good at it? When you stay in one place, I'd explore, meet people, come back a better and more rounded person. He's getting sucked off every morning. Fuck it, I'm in. <laughs> so goodbye, shitty Bristol. I was off to Australia. Yeah! Don't oh, worry, so I've got you a special holiday gift. Oh, thanks, Mum. It's... A rape alarm. What do you think is going to happen to me? Well, that's like you might get raped. Right. Sweetie, I'm just saying it's better to have a rape alarm and not need it than to get gang raped in an alleyway by men you may have, however innocently, led up. Oh, hello, everyone. Hello, that's a Karen. good point. Sorry to see them leave. Actually, his hand mail's going away. Give me a chance to get some men in to decorate his bedroom. <laughs> I'm going to miss you, Bethel. Oh, no. Yes, mm. all right, get off. Huh. Be very careful with the soldier, okay? Your mum looks good when she cries. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. She looks amazing when your dad left her. Okay. Brilliant. Off we went, running away from our problems. All I knew about Australia was that if it you, sting you, or eat you alive, then it probably lived there. Hey. But nothing prepared us for the beauty of Sydney Harbour, and Neil was particularly impressed. What the fuck is that? What? That fucking thing. The Sydney Opera House? No, that thing, the spaceship. The spaceship, there. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the sightseeing done. <laughs> we need to find this club. <laughs> Hang on, got signal now. Google map it to the rescue. It's this way. That just cost me 20 quid. Today, to Roman charges are for extortion or fraud deal. Well, just stand still then. That's not really how it works. Another 20 quid? I'm not Roman now, you useless piece of shit. Just switch it off, Nick. Ah! Thanks a lot, Sai. It's fucked now. Not sure that was stupid, <laughs> my fault. We left the harbour to find Jay to see if he really was getting sucked off every morning. Cannot wait to see DJ Big Penis rock in the house. No. Nor can I. Have you ever taken a backpack or a suitcase to a nightclub? No, of course you haven't. Because you're not a fucking idiot. <laughs> we had nowhere to stay. And surprisingly, Big Penis wasn't the club's premier number one DJ. <laughs> We we all knew Jay wasn't the wasn't the number one DJ. We are we all knew that. Don't get it, he said he worked here. He also said he knocked out a choir of fuck the Minogue's legend. He's not here. I'm gonna have to spend the night in a hostel. Aren't hostels a bit pikey? Hostels are how everyone does it, Simon. They're full of interesting people who are travelling. Like us. I don't know, Will. We went to visit my uncle Paul in a hostel when he had cancer. It wasn't very cool if I'm being honest. It also wasn't a hostel. Fine. If it's only one night, I suppose. Yeah, at least there might be some sexy nurses there. There won't be. Quick pizzle first. <laughs> That's it, sir. Wash your fingers for the mingers. <laughs> no scratch, no gash. No Armani, no Panani. No Dolce and Cabana, no Sucky or Banana. Jay! Jay! Oh, Jay? <laughs> I don't think so, pal. The name's Bruce. What? <laughs> Shut up, Jay. Sorry, fellas. I've never heard of this bloke, Jay. Oh. That's clearly not him, let's go. So you're not Jay. <laughs> Bruce, you fucking drongo. <laughs> Look at Jay's face. Nah. And he also says Jay's pussy juice dollar a squirt. Coincidence. Okay, what's happened to Jay? Is this a wind up? Of course it's a bloody wind up. 100% <laughs> murked. The looks on your faces. Oh. You prize bellends. I can't believe you fell for that. We didn't. There's you, Jay, and <laughs> <in> big <laughs> pants. <laughs> 
<laughs> Neil, oh, so them. dumb. Good to see you, man. Yes, just to clear one thing up, though. You do work in a toilet, don't you? I can see going to uni hasn't made you any less of a retard because I don't work in a fucking toilet. Why are you working in a toilet, then? It's a joke! <laughs> don't worry, it probably went over your heads. Whoosh. <laughs> I'll run this whole club. Not my own boss. Boss of the toilet? Well, drinks are on you, then. What, now? Yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> right. Jay's story made complete sense. If I ran a nightclub, I'd definitely dress like a snooker player and hang out in the toilets. I cannot <laughs> wait to hear all the bad bands you've been having. Oh, mate, the bands in Australia are legendary. Obviously, that's because I've been delivering most of the bands. I'm like bands of course. I've got bands. <laughs> no, Jay's. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, what? You don't recognise me, do you? Katie? Oh, Katie Evans from prep school. Oh, maybe you do remember. I'll never forget that sleepover we had at Lloydie's house. Oh, I don't remember that. No. How amazing to see you. What an incredibly small world. Oh, I don't know. It seems like every kid from the home counties is out here doing a gap year. <sighs> yeah, mm. more cliche. So what are you up to? Oh, I'm doing a gap year. India <laughs> once, India twice, love, heartbreak, silent retreat, Thailand, scuba diving, broken bird, the oh, poor, wow. tearing, volcanoes, Indonesia, healers, Reiki, cafes, tears, revelations, amazing people, amazing conversations, unforgettable and life-changing experiences. You? I'm visiting my friend who works in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> you always made me laugh, you nutter. <laughs> what are you really doing? I'm travelling. Out here for Bro, why are we always end up talking with cute girls, bro? We always get the cutest girls in the whole group, bro. It's always real. How does he do it? I would never know. Oh, you always made me laugh, you nutter. <laughs> what are you really doing? I'm travelling. Out here for four weeks. Oh, so you're on holiday? No. Yeah. Travelling, I think. So what you been up to about me then? Must have been shit. I've been at uni. That's Ben. No, what about you? You've been getting your dick wet? I went swimming. No, with Fanny Juice. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, no, I'm not really. Uh, I worked in the garage for a bit, now I'm working in the bank. And Oh, yeah, you know cousin Michelle? Yeah? I think of her. Neil. Are you? It's so banker. No. I'm going to, um, uh, where is it you're going? Byron Bay. Oh, it is awesome. I've got this job there selling these excursions like whitewater rafting, zip lining, bungee. Oh. I was actually just firing to raise some cash for the bus tomorrow. Oh, well, it's been nice to see you. What? No, I haven't seen you in ages. Why do you come to Byron? Oh, you're inviting me. Of course I'm inviting you. Come to Byron. Look, you love the vibe. It's so you. It's just totally chill. Really, I'd love to, but I'll have to ask the others. I'll convince them. Is that them over there? <laughs> Not them. <laughs> we'll be up for it. Yay, amazing. Right, well, I will see you tomorrow then. <laughs> what? Nothing. Um, see you later, alligator. Love it. I'll see you on the bus tomorrow. Oh, no, how we'll be. KJ Evans from Junior School. Definitely my first love. That is well, Jimmy Savile. She's just an old friend that you want to have sex with. I think she might want to have sex with me too. She kissed me on the lips. Tongues? No, but no, that don't count. My mum used to kiss me on the lips. Yeah, when you were a child. She couldn't have done it any other time. She ran off when he was 10. lips, <laughs> 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 Jay's a complete savage. Oh, I love Jay, bro. He's an absolute. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Any other time, she ran off when he was ten. <laughs> my point is, girls don't kiss people on the lips; they don't fancy. Now nah, she's just one of those mouth kissing girls. I met loads of at uni. Have you? Well, I met one. Then Lucy punched her. I'm not surprised the briefcase has had a sniff already. Australia is the sex capital of the world. That's why I'm here. You know why they call it down under? It's because that's where your face spends most of the time. I've spent plenty of time in the bush, Neil. The bush around the pussies. Banks. Check these out. My new banks. It's like mad banks. I'm the Archbishop of Banterbury. You're the banner for the opera. I don't get it. Whoosh. Oh, banter deck. Someone needs tickets to the banter mime. Eric Bantanar. <laughs> Just saying banter or bants over and over again. There's not a substitute for actual amusing conversation, you know. <laughs> Briefcase banter. <laughs> Jay, what are you doing? Shift doesn't end for another four hours. Ooh. Good one, Lizzie. Get back to work. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you, you pretend to be my boss. It'll be hilarious. Uh -oh. Anyway, come on, better go. Take one step outside that door, you're fucking sacked. <laughs> you mean you're sacked? I just sacked you. Don't play the prick, you can't sack me. Just did, mate. Anyway, 
I'll see you later. I'll, I'll go away. Right. Don't think we can't find another bottom feeder to wipe piss off people's hands. Yeah, good one. Hey! We can't wait to see the mansion. Can I have room for a hot tub? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so this yeah, is the just mansion. quit. A tent in your uncle's front garden. It's like a temporary. My new front pad is still under construction. In your mind. <laughs> can't believe I've literally done oh it. Oh my lord, bro. The world to spend a month in a two man tent. Jay! You sweep that veranda this morning? Yes, Uncle Brian. Who are these pile little bastards? You butt fucking boys in your tent. <laughs> well, Uncle Brian, these are my friends from England. Simon <laughs> and Neil. And. And Will. Uncle Brian. Cousin Shane. Yeah, this Jay treating you, Phyllis. Oh, what a place. So interesting. Greatest fucking country on earth. I keep telling Jay Daddy should move here, but he still weren't too much of a pussy, which is a shame because we could do some white immigration for a change. Right. <laughs> Jay's been telling us all about the Sheila's he's been shagging. Is he? Well, that's bullshit. Closest this little runs come to some badges when the dog drip period down his leg, and don't pretend you didn't get a boner. <laughs> Come on, bro. What's that? Nothing, Uncle. Bob. <laughs> hey. Some nights for shits and giggles, me and Shane, eh, shine the torch through the tent. We can see him sitting up, all silhouetted like bashing away on his little platypus. <laughs> you understand when I say platypus, I mean cock, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And guess what? He's gone and dug a hole in the ground to fuck. <laughs> just, it's a wormhole, because his dick's so small, we get it. But I'm not kidding about the hole. He has got that, and a small dick, which he fucks a hole in the ground with. Right. Um, <laughs> I don't know who's worse out of, out of Jay's uncle or his dad. I, I don't know who's worse. <laughs> oh, they're, they're a tie for equally bad to Jay. Which he fucks a hole in the ground with. Uh, right. Um, we should put our stuff in the tent. Yeah, all right. We'll see you later. Hey, care if you don't fall in the fuck hole. <laughs> He's nice, isn't he? He's right. He's just Australian. Yeah. I'd say it's pretty obvious we can't stay in here for four weeks. I propose we go travelling. Oh my gosh, think in advance! Well, if we're going travelling, there's only one place to go. Oh, Uluru? The Great Barrier Reef? Fraser Island? No, none of that boring shit. Splash Planet! I'm sorry? Splash Planet! The whole of Australia, and you're suggesting we visit what I presume is a water park? If you hadn't spent the last six months at uni wanking off to Shakespeare, you'd know that water parks are the ultimate place to fuck girls. Top scientists have proved that the high water pressure on their clitties gives them such a massive wide on that when they get off the rides, they're gagging for it. No word of a lie. Some word of a lie. <laughs> Where have these scientists got their funding from? The University of Sex. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yay, bro. Oh, fucking leave me alone. Can I not just have one fucking day without you abusing me? That your mum? No, Lucy. You burnt my trainers. Oh, wow. I I know. Oh, I know. Just get your dad to text her back and tell her you've died. That's what I normally do. Right. There you go. I think at least I need to tell her to her face. My uncle's got Skype, you can go and dump the nightmare now. Oh, that's unfair, you don't know her. Although she is a fucking nightmare. I'll do it, Si. No, it's all right, I'm going. Wish me luck. Bad luck. Close enough. Oh, it's about to get bad. Cool. Hey, beer? No, thanks. Nah, you might want to dump her, like, when you get back, and you can protect all your stuff. Because if you dump her now, it ain't gonna be no more stuff when you get back, Si. Why would you stay with crazy? Crazy. Sorry, you need to be a freak. Is it okay to use the computer? Yeah, of course it is, mate. Jay's always on there, chubby chasing. Ah, <laughs> okay, oh, we'll go dang. We want to go travelling. You want to go to Splash Planet? His girl works at Splash Planet. Here. Byron Bay. Oh, where mouth kiss birdies. It's 20 minutes outside Splash Planet, right on the beach. There's loads of cool hostels, and it's an easy place to get jobs should we need money. I've always wanted to be a dolphin trainer. Have you? You should go to Splash Planet. You'll definitely get that job there. You won't, Neil. Look, we're English, right? Just finishing school in England makes us 10 times cleverer than any Australian. We're like doctors or rocket science blokes over here. You can get any job you want, even dolphin trainer. Of course, you just turn up, tell them you're English. I am 100% certain that does not have a job as dolphin trainer. Who's been living in Australia for months, eh? Me. That's who. Yes. In a tent. You're calling your mummy for a good night kiss. Oh, no, I, I have to Skype my girlfriend. You got a girlfriend? <laughs> Well done, mate. Looking at you. Oh, thanks. I'm amazed. No. What's wrong with her? Um, nothing. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that. Give a look at her. Fuck me, dude. She's gorgeous, mate. Oh, right. Yeah, I suppose so. Suppose. Mate, if that was my Sheila, I wouldn't leave her side. 
we get married, right? Um, no. Oh, fuck me, mate. Look at that. Then look at you. I mean, you could look a bit big and you never get a root better than that. You know, we sometimes argue a bit and we're quite young. Ah, cash your chips, mate. That's the best you'll get ever. Dave! You asked, where have you been? Haven't heard from you in days. I've been on a plane. That was yesterday, you fucking moron. Look, oh I didn't want to talk. Oh, my Checked your emails. I clean for now. What's there to talk about? Look, I wanted to say... Will you marry me? What was that? No, no, what, what it was. Simon? Look, what it was was... No. Say it again. <sighs> what, will you marry me? Wait a minute, Lucy. What? What? Nothing. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, Lord. Where's my phone? Congratulations, mate. Simon is in a world of trouble. There he is. He is in a world of trouble, bro. Oh, because she's about to tell everybody. Oh, my God. Yay! Hey! Well, I can't go back home now. She didn't take being dumped too well then. Did not dump her. Have agreed to marry her. Oh, well done. You bellend. Genuine question, have I just fucked up my entire life? Of course not. Just because you promise people stuff doesn't mean you have to do it. I once Good told Corey that I'd raise three million quid for him by selling selfies on my cock. In the end, didn't bother. Right. I mean, I, I'm not sure how that helped my situation. <laughs> Just make something up. Look, the drive up to Byron tomorrow is about 12 hours. We'll think of something. Drive? I thought we were taking the bus. Fuck that. I've got a car. Boy off Cousin Shane. And considering it's an awesome custom job, he done me a great deal. Let's sleep on it. I'd really like to get the bus, but I'm sure we can reach a compromise. Oh, right. You mean you're going to keep talking until we do what you want? No. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't see that, Simon. <laughs> reached the next day we did what I wanted and headed to the bus station I was full of other cool people traveling to Byron Bay the Darien Gap is really all that's left of untouched jungle in the world yeah I'm going to do South America I might try it yeah you don't really try it it's a five-day trek and you only sleep in hammocks man I got the shit so bad they used up the whole group's medical supplies treating me it's oh, so wow. dangerous that most guys they won't even take you yep I found that shame so I just walked it by myself unaccompanied and I'm out to Colombia unaccompanied I, I thought that was illegal it is, yeah. But it's just, it's better that way because you meet the real locals and there's none of that luxury bullshit like hammocks and medical supplies. So if you do get the shits or malaria, like I did, then you just get on with it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you just get on with it. Amazing stuff. I'm Will, by the way. You know, I used to have long hair too. Not dreads, but uh, pretty long. Yep. Had old cuts before we came out traveling. Well, that's an interesting story. Oh, well, you made it. Byron, here we come. So you've met the rest of the gang, then? Yeah, yeah, we were just chatting about South America and my experiments with hairstyles and shit. You know, classic traveling. Well, I've got you that McFlurry and Jay says get a fucking move on. Oh, okay. so are you guys traveling too? Yeah. Yeah? This is my second foreign holiday in a year. First we all went Malia. We went ironically. It was brilliant, that jet skis you could rent. Wow, do tell us more. Well, they're like motorbikes without wheels, but on water, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I love Will, bro. <laughs> I'm Neil Sutherland as it goes. Ben. Is that your whole name? No. Oh. Does it matter? It's Ben Thornton Wild. But which one? <laughs> which one? Thornton or Wild? It's Double Barrel. Oh, so you just choose one depending on how you're feeling? No, no, those, those are both my last name. <laughs> what? Shut up. That is mental. Well, Ben has got two last names, but it's actually just <laughs> one name. Have you heard of that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, bro, Neil is so dumb. And you just can't help a lot of guys. You really can't help a lot of guys, I swear. Yeah, I've heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> Finally! Are you coming then? Me? Oh, no. I thought you were coming north with me. I am, just not on the bus. My friends wanted to travel by car, so. So you've been waiting at a bus station for ages in your backpack, even though <laughs> you're going by car? <laughs> That's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. See you in Byron! <laughs> 
so off we went. We didn't know exactly how to get to Byron Bay, so we just followed the bus that Katie was on. <laughs> a little too closely. <laughs> Well freaked out. Do you think that might have anything to do with the car? Doubt it. Actually, I have a few questions about the car. Fire away. One, just why did you buy it? I needed a cool set of wheels and Shano did me a deal. Two, is Shano a big Peter Andre fan? Shano's not stupid. The birds love Peter Andre. I'm not sure anyone loves anything enough to have sex with Shano. What are you talking about? You got so much anal in here and I had to hose down the footwell. This is the classic Aussie shagging wagon. Is it? It's the fuck truck. The mobile virgin conversion unit. Yeah, we should use it on wheel. Brilliant. <laughs> oh my god, no. Can't wait to get a job training dolphins, even though it is pretty bad how they're treated. Did you know all they feed them is raw fish? Oh, that is grim. I puke if all I ate was fish. They bang out of order. Imagine it, just raw fish. Their diet is fish. Yeah, because that's all they're given. But also <laughs> because that's what they eat. <laughs> so cool, you know? No burgers, no KFC, no names on birthdays, nothing. How would you like it? Well, if all I ate was fish, I probably wouldn't like it. Right, yes or no, how would you like to just eat raw fish? If I was a dog, yes or no? But you can't compare. Yes, yes or no? no? These people are marine biologists. Yes, yes or no? Is there so many raw fish? Yes, yes or no? no? No. Correct. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Not the problem, mate. Anywhere like it. It was buzzing with life. Or in Jay's opinion, absolutely round full of bellends. And if there was one place where a car featuring Peter Andre and a pair of tits wouldn't raise an eyebrow, it was the Arts Factory Lodge Hostel. Okay, Jay, please park the car where no one can see it. No. Oh, Ben! Ben, mate! Man, I'm in man. Oh, hey, guys, how's the holiday? What's on the tourist itinerary for tomorrow? Ah, that's funny, man. You know we're not serious. Splash Planet. I'm going to get a job working with dolphins. I'm prepared to start at the bottom, work my way up. Like father, like son. <laughs> Dad's Ben. <laughs> I'm prepared to start at the bottom and work my way up. Like father, like son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love these guys so freaking much. I love these guys so like much. Like father, like son. His dad's Ben. I'm gonna begin with the easy stuff, you know, like clean ladder cages and that. So participating in the enslavement of animals. Wow, have you guys even heard of ethically traveling? Is that with Ryan Gosling? Okay, uh, we'll see you around. Yeah, great. When? What? Oh, I just wondered when you'd see us around. Is that a good time? It's a bigger speech. Cool. Catch you later, mate. Wait. Man, man. He's all right, isn't he? No, not really. The hostel was laid back, cool, and the kind of place where anything goes. Anything except, it seemed, deodorant. It smells a bit here. Shotgun. <laughs> uh, unlucky, top bunk wankers. Oh, fuck off, Neil. I want some little hottie above me, not your rotted arsehole. I just want to be near you. I've been thinking about it. Do we really need to go to Splash Planet? Yes. Yes, we do. But it's so tacky and gaudy and full of idiots. It's my lifetime's ambition. You first mentioned it yesterday. Don't kill my dreams, Will. <laughs> Hello, Nutter. You made it. So, uh, what are you up to tomorrow? Any plans? We thought we might travel somewhere ethical. An Aboriginal... cave. Oh, that's a shame. I'm going to Splash Planet. It looks brilliant. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? You just said it was tacky. What? Shut up. You said it was full of idiots. Are you an idiot, Katie? Never funny. Stop being funny, you guys. Well, I must be an idiot then, because I think it looks amazing. I can get you tickets if you like. Really? Fantastic. Four, please. Cool, done. Right, I'm going to go and sit by the fire. Do you fancy coming? Yeah, I just need to Skype home first, though. My mother worries. Crazy. Right, well, I'll see you in a bit then. You all right? Wait, I'm thinking. About what? Wait. What is it? I'm trying to think if anyone's ever said anything less cool to a girl than my mother worries. <laughs> <laughs> that was a clue, was I? One of the great Australian tourist attractions. But I did have one site I wanted to see. Katie in a bikini. First, I just have to select the other woman in my life. Really? 
why they send you after six months. I need to refresh the image in the wank bank. Surely watching Simon dump Lucy has to be more fun than this. Nothing's more fun than your mum. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dolly. I can't, I can't see you. Yeah. You can have your video on, same as every time. Where, where's the button? Where it always is, where I have to point you every single time we Skype. Yeah, then we have to move the camera down, remember? What camera? Come on, we've done this. The camera is on top of the laptop. Just tip the lid forward. How's that? <laughs> oh, is that new? Tell your brother to fuck off! Well, yeah, don't be rid of your brains. He gets one grumps when he gets tired. Just move the camera back! <laughs> Look, just wanted to check in, tell you I've actually met some great new people, and there is, is Grandma staying over? No, why, why would you say that? You've got two bowls and two mugs out for breakfast. Ooh. Oh, yes, sir. Uh oh. So you've stayed over. Your grandma? Just said she wasn't. Did I? Uh oh. I think it must be the connection, darling. Yeah, it was a terrible connection. You're breaking up. I love you. Speak soon. <laughs> She's getting fucked, I reckon. <laughs> the only way this Skype with Lucy could go worse than the first was if he somehow got her pregnant. Hello, baby boo. No, I'm like a Lucy? Come on. No. no, you say it. No. No. Look, Lucy, there's something I need to do right now. No. Right, put it away, there are elderly people present. What the fuck? Just pop round and see our new daughter in law. Simon, we're so delighted for you. You'll have to start the planning as soon as you get back, I suppose. Yes, thanks for stating the fucking obvious. Oi. This is a happy occasion. It's okay. It's an emotional time. Come on, Pam. Let's leave these lovebirds to it. Now, don't you two get carried away. Me and your mum have seen plenty of videos that start like this on the <laughs> internet. <laughs> plenty. Oh, <laughs> oh my so lord. Nice. They're fucking idiots. Well, we've all agreed on a date, so that's good. You've set a date? And I've got all my bridesmaids sorted. I just hope Jane will come back from Australia. No, Lucy. I'm in Australia, not Jane, remember? Fucking senile, Simon. I know you're there. She's there too. Why didn't you mention it? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot I'm meant to give you minute by minute <coughs> updates on my friend's movements. <coughs> okay, so <coughs> Suzanne is moving in with Steve because she's missed a period, and Louise is back in Coventry because she's self harming again. Is that enough detail? Yes, that's great. Thank you. Simon, man up, my guy. The vibe of the hostel was incredible, and it was clear we weren't at home anymore. Things were different, and it was nice to see that Simon, Neil, and especially Jay were embracing this new environment. Oh, no, why is there always some cunt with a guitar? If anyone starts playing the bongos, I'm leaving. The bongos start burning the place down. That's perfect. Open your minds, guys. We're backpacking now. Get into the backpacking vibe. Vibe? We buy a fire listening to some posh prick play guitar. How much more backpacking can it get? Please don't ruin this for me. Katie! Dodges. <laughs> Enjoy the trip. Are you okay? Yep. <laughs> yep. Totally fine. <laughs> Good luck, man. Looks like you got front row seats. Mm, yeah. Lucky me. At least you're here to cheer me up, though. Hi. Katie, can I play your song? No, I'm good, thanks. God, that guy can be such a dick. Really? Yeah. Look at him. He always has to be the centre of attention. Yeah. How can anyone wear that many friendship bracelets? No one's got that many friends. Now who's giving someone a stinking piece of old string of showed friendship? I know, right? I mean, I only wear, what, like, seven? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I made one for you. Do you want it? Yeah, great. I love these. <laughs> OK, Katie, this is your last chance. What can I play for you? How about the sound of silence? <laughs> That was a good one, Will. What the fuck? <coughs> oh, Jay, you know Jane's in Australia, right? What? Who? You remember the fat bird that dumped you up? She did not fucking dump me, Neil. Oh, you cried? Yeah, tears of joy, probably. <coughs> you Lucy told me Jane's here in Australia. So, look, like, I'll give a shit. Weird, though, isn't it? Amazing coincidence. Maybe she's come to get you back. She should be so lucky. You know the first rule of Banter Brigade? You only allow one fatty. Ha! No, that, that is a very funny joke, though. <coughs> no. What is it again? I, I know it, but i just forgotten for a minute. All the Fs? Oh, yeah, find them, fuck them, forget them. No, Neil. All the Fs. Find them, French them, get them frothy, finger them, frig them, film them, flange them, flick them, fanny fart them, fuck them, frot them, fist them, felch them, finish with them, and then finally forget about them. Just like God Jane, dang. whatever her name was. <laughs> Sorry, I switched See? off the frig. You're saying you aren't bothered about Jane being here? Did you know that laughter is intensely spiritual? 
So that means that you're very spiritual. Would you say you're spiritual? Um... It's quite a vague way to describe a whole person. Could you just narrow it down at all? Hmm. So, what I'm saying, right, is that I think you're spiritual. Yep. I'm saying that's great. Really great. But what do you mean by that? I don't want to sign up for something I'm not. Oh, um, okay. Actually, I've had a think about it, and I am spiritual. I'm <laughs> <laughs> goon. Yes, please. Do you really not know Jamie's in Australia? That's all bollocks, Simon. Si, I don't know that. Ah, really I know. Because you want to go out back? Because you miss her? There you go. Not <laughs> the bottom lip, right. Jay. Not <laughs> the bottom lip. That's why you want to go there. I made a mistake, all right? I made a mistake and I'm trying to make it better. Why didn't you go and see her before? I was building up to it. And now you're here, I'm gonna do it, so just don't fucking tell anyone. Tell anyone what? About your dad's world record. My dad's got a world record? Yeah. Most dogs cocks in one mouth. <laughs> hey, hey! It's the dudes! How are we dudes? I'm all right in thinking oh, my hey. little friends might be up for a little... Dots? Oh, I don't think they got bored. <laughs> Neil is the greatest, bro. I he just he just says funny stuff, like literally the whole time because he, he's so dumb, bro. He's perfect. He's perfect for movies. Dots. <laughs> oh, I don't think they got bored. You guys are funny, new. And you'll mind if I skin up? Is it? See, Stephen. No, but he fucking minds. That's right. Run away from our problems like you always do. Oh, fuck. Oh, fucking leave me alone. Oh, God, do I really have to marry that lunatic? Well, I asked her, so yes, I have. God, how has this happened? Marriage was, yeah? Dr. Dooms prescribes a toke of Jasper's finest. A friend with weed is a friend indeed. Oh, That's a fact. Just, sorry, a friend what? with weed is a oh, friend indeed. Mess. She's cutting up on my hoodies. Oh, oh my lord, bro. <laughs> Yes! Turned <laughs> out oh, the goon bag. Fucking hell, mate. You are the full package. You're funny and spiritual. I can't believe you're single. <laughs> That's the full package. I believe, but I am single. <laughs> I don't know when you're joking or when you're not. But let me tell you, if you could play guitar, I would jump you right now. Give me the guitar! Actually, I can play guitar. Fuck off! I've had a lot of time on my own at uni to practice. <laughs> Fucking knockout! Go on then, mate, give us a song. Okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hey, um, Ben, man. Can I have a go, man? Wow, um... Well, you don't really have a go with the guitar. It's not in front of as many people. I, I just want to play a song for a friend, for, for Katie. Sure you got this? Yeah, I think so. There's quite a lot of people, so. Yeah, you can handle it. Okay, well, just go for it. I'm trying to. Yeah, just take the guitar. Yeah. So, remove your hand from the neck of the guitar, man. Thank you. Here we go. Come on, Will. Please don't let me down. Please so, don't let me down. Slight mood, but, um, yeah, hope you like it. Stick to playing the guitar. The singing, turn the singing off. Stop the singing, Will. 
but the guitar playing is pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Just keep your mouth shut. Uh oh! I felt your heart so close. Gosh, that was terrible. Absolutely awful. Singing wise. Ooh, this is very nice. Is it a little bit public? No one cares. Oh, hello. We are oh, don't ruin this. Um, should we be doing this here? This is what traveling's about. No, yes, we best. Will, please don't ruin we just this. Go there and I'll ride you. <laughs> oh, what is this? That's very hard. Sorry. Never get that out of the way. <laughs> this is someone else's bed. Let's get on my bunk. It's just up there. Oh, you're so sexy. <sighs> um, Casey, this is great, but you're very drunk. Why don't we get a hotel for tomorrow? My treat, my treat, anything. You're gorgeous. Will, shut up! Oh, my lord. Oh, what? Are you no fun? I am. I am fun. It's just... Here. Come on. Let's have fun. Here. Mm, yeah. Do it like that. That's nice. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, she sleeps. Your friend is asleep on my bed. Yeah, she's out of there. Now, this is not what it looks like. After I'd explained to everyone that it was Molly Rape alarm, and once they'd stopped laughing, we got some sleep. The next morning, Simon was the first person in history to get the munchies ten hours after smoking a joint. Did you know I'm breakfast? No. Oh, I've got that irritable bowel syndrome. It gets worse when I get stressed. I am finding travelling stressful, to be honest. You should have seen me sweating in the toilet block this morning, you know. It's not even runny. It's just like massive ones firing themselves out. Uh, Plus, it's foreign like I'm eating Donald. You've only eaten McDonald's. Yeah, Australian McDonald's. Good morning. Here he is, the singing sex pest. Say what you like, the song worked. Someone had a good night then? Yes, after the unpleasantness of Agnetha was sorted out. I think we have to call last night a success. A beautiful girl wants to have sex with me. Oh. There she is. You who? Katie? 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 Oh, God, shout. Oh, I swear to God. The worst. Look, it's all right, mate. I can walk. God, I was so pissed last night. You were a little. You passed out. I remember, like, an alarm or something. Yeah, don't worry about that. Apart from that, I literally cannot remember a single thing that happened. Nothing. Go straight from sitting around the fire. Dang. And I, and I was judging you for no proof. Gosh, I'm terrible, Will. I'm sorry. You're a great guy. You're such a great guy. I cannot remember a single thing that happened. Nothing. Go straight from sitting around the fire to puking this morning. Oh my god. Did we? Well, sort of. We fucked. No. Did we kiss? Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, that is so funny! Isn't that funny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so bad when I'm drunk. Bad. Oh no, 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 not in that way. Not, not that you're not like, oh my god, I'm digging myself a hole here. I'll change the subject, Katie. Uh, listen, I'm gonna go and get some breakfast and I'll uh, I'll catch up with you in a bit, okay? I've got to sort of work out what adventures people are on today. Oh, have you got the money for those Splash Planet tickets? Yes, of course. Um, how much do we owe you? 400 bucks. 
Oh my god! It was $75 a ticket. It is, but there's this premium when I get them. It's just a thing. Like, ah! Cool. <laughs> oh my lord. Looks like I have to get out my mum's emergency stash. Oh, all right, Kinky. <laughs> no, no, it's not that. She gave me a bit extra for emergencies as a precautionary thing. What on earth? Well, cheers, mate. I'll, uh, I'll see you at the water park. So I sorted out the weight. I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, now nah, you ain't gonna see me at the water park. Hand me my ticket. I just handed you the money. That... There was a premium? Bro, we are so dumb. The things these guys do for girls. Uh, I'll, now, I'll do stupid things. I'll do stupid things. I've done stupid things. I ain't never done. I ain't never been this dumb. Over the girls. It's never happened. So I sorted out the weight. I'm thinking. To be fair, Splash Planet looked amazing. And even though Jay insisted that 80 percent of the water was made up of vaginal fluid, we still couldn't wait to try out the rides. Or better still, work there. Excuse me, I'm looking for a job as a dolphin trainer. Are you a qualified marine biologist? No, but I'm English. Okay, uh, we don't have any jobs, but you can swim with them for 75 bucks. Oh, cool, not work experience. <laughs> <laughs> you get the job then? Nah, no, that's well racist. I'm going to swim with one, though, and I'm going to give it the time of his life. <laughs> is it just me, or does it sound like he's going to wank the dolphin? That is what it sounded like. That's what it sounded like. Yeah. We split up and I went to find Katie. Last night she said I was sexy. So today I just had to seal the deal by laughing at anything she said or did. <laughs> I gotcha. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, you did. What a good joke that is. <laughs> Always funny. Hi. Oh, let's get on these rides then. It's the best hangover cure ever. Yes. Well, my guy had been uh, waiting for it. The water pressure on some of these slides is quite... Oh, oh, look out. Hypocrite alert. Ben, you came. Cool, hi. Hi. Yeah, well, I wanted to see what the tourists saw in the place. I'm not serious, man. Got a backpack for one. In Bolivia, they say if you put a shell on a donkey, does that make him a crab? Don't know what that means, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. Right, let's ride some plumes. Yeah. yeah. Jay and Simon have left me to, as Jay put it, chase after Katie like a little prick. While they, for some unknown reason, headed to the lazy river. A child's mm. ride. Does Jay work on this ride then? No, but as you can see from this map of the park, the lazy river pretty much covers the whole place. So basically, oh. we get on, drift around till we see her. Simples. Don't know if that map is entirely accurate. There are pirates and crocodiles having a sword fight on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry if the kids are bothering you. Oh, God, no, of course not. No, not to our love kids. <laughs> He's a Peter Paul. Seriously, I'm trying to help you. All right. Nudges? Oh. <laughs> sorry. 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 <laughs> Nudges was fast becoming no one's favourite game. Meanwhile, Neil was teaching some animals Jay. only slightly cleverer than him Jay. that there's more to life than fish. Okay, guys, now you get some very special one-on-one -on -one time with your dolphins. If you'd like to take your positions. Hello, gorgeous. Good boy. <laughs> this is amazing. Look, apparently I'm not allowed to train you because it turns out this lot are well racist, but there's one thing I can give you that they can't. Lamb, we call that a burger. Yeah, McDonald's probably do the best one, followed by Burger King. Oh, you like it, dear? Come on, let's go. We want the kiss. Mm. Oh, I love it. Hey! <laughs> they say dolphins are clever, but what they don't tell you is they're also greedy little bastards. We're sticking to their terrible plan. This might not be the quickest way to search the pub. Nah, be fine. It's about time before we find her. Chill. Ah, oh, Lord, here we go. Yeah, that's him. Right. Hey, mate, what are you 
are you doing with those kids? No, wait. My friend was joking. You're disgusting. I, I don't love kids. Please. I hate kids. They're not Satan. Please. God oh, dang. Meanwhile, Jeez. I was trying to impress a girl I'd recently fingered to sleep. Oh my god, this is the hardest rapids racer. It's amazing. You race other people down rapid. Cool. How about me versus Beaky then? Loser has to do a naked street around the park. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. No. Will, you're up for it, aren't you? No. I would be, but I'm boring. No, Ben. I'm scared? No, Ben. Shame with your tiny pants. <laughs> no, Ben. Actually, I get nosebleeds. What? I think you said that he gets nosebleeds. Hey, come on, let's race. Gosh, Will. What happened to you? Don't do oh, it. Well, I was um, waterboarded on the lazy river because Jay told some parents I was a paedophile. Pretty good. Where's Jay now? He's gone to find Jane. Jane? That's why he's in Australia. He found out she worked here and he's desperate to get her back. I'm not supposed to tell anyone, but after that, fuck him. Yeah. Yeah, you, Jay deserves that. Jay, hey, I agree, Simon. He deserved it after that, my guy. Simon, don't go. I mean, Simon, Will, don't go. No, don't race him. You cannot run naked around his car. I'm not supposed to tell anyone, but after that, fuck him. I agree. Will, come on! What about your nose, please? Did you want something? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for someone that works here, a girl called Jane. Okay, we've had a few Janes. What does she look like? Um, she's got, like, red hair, quite big. But, no, beautiful, really, like, really, really beautiful. Ah, uh, yes, I know Jane. Yeah, she's a stunner, all right, huh? <laughs> Great, so whereabouts is she working today? Oh, she left about a month ago, mate. She's got a dream job, working with horses or something. Did she say where? No, nah, sorry. Outback Dang. somewhere? Oh, that's all right. Guess I'll head to the Outback and go find her. <laughs> to the Outback? Yeah, you'll find her no problems. Will I? It's amazing. Are you some kind of moron? Of course you fucking might. The Outback's enormous. <laughs> nah, you'll never find her. If she gets in touch, I'm going to tell you're looking for her. Nah, that's cool. Uh, I'm not bothered. I've got some stuff to sort out in um, Vietnam. Like CIA. What? Right? Basically, I'm getting my own private train with a machine gun on front. I'm going to drive across the country, just standing up, firing out the machine gun as it, as it goes along. So. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Now it's time for some chicken. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> this man. <laughs> but this is the last one. It's the bollocks meatball sandwich. No way. How did he get it? Uh oh. Put it up, put it up. There you go. Wake up. Dolphins. dolphins are fine. Totally fine. Why wouldn't they be? How are you asking? Well, I don't want to talk about the fucking dolphins, okay? <laughs> oh my god. So <laughs> just my retaining pals. Next two up. Right. Good luck, boys. See you at the bottom. Oh, and don't forget, lose the streaks. Oh, seriously, I would have thought it'd been gone by now. It's a new one. Jesus, Neil. Can't stop them. <sighs> okay, next two. Uh! Ready to lose? I'm not, but you are. Will. I'm not gonna lose. What's that mean? Will. I'm gonna win. Will. I can't lose. We'll see about that. Will. I don't lose. You wish, jellyfish. What? Will. Will, I need help. The last one up. Maybe I'll follow through. Go. <laughs> <laughs> but it's my pals. It is able. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh no. Oh. No. 
duck or something bro oh my gosh bro go underwater now put your before you turn around put your face underwater wipe it off bro get oh my god this is this absolutely <laughs> Splash Planet security team can strictly arrest you. Children were crying. And I don't think that was you. I think that was to do with that dolphin that died. No, you were swimming with them. Did you see anything? Look, I didn't swim with any dolphins, sorry. And if you keep telling lies about me, I'm going to have to bring up your mum's hairy face again. All right, calm down. Yeah. You all right, Jay? Everything's ruined. What's up? Is it your type four skin thing? Yeah. I fucked it up again. No, lay off it for a week. It'll get better. <laughs> 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 I should have never have bought her that wee fit. She said she wanted to lose a bit of weight, and I was just trying to help. I loved her the way she was. You bought her a wee fit? So I, I came here to find her, to apologise, to try and win her back. I had no idea how big Australia was. I knew it was an island, so I thought, it can't be that big. I'll probably just bump into her down the shops, but it's fucking massive. <clears throat> and now she's gone forever. My life is pointless again. Sorry, you bought her a wee fit? My dad was right. He should have just whipped it out and splurged on my mum's ass rather than waste it making me. <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. Them. So I could always ask Lucy where she is. Oh shit, yeah. Lucy will probably know. Really? Actually, yeah, thinking about it, she'll definitely know. She sent her a wedding invitation. Let's go, I'll scarf her now. Shotgun. Don't worry, mate, we'll find her. Thanks for this, Sai. No problem. You'll do the same for me. We wouldn't. We think your bird's a fucking nightmare. Yeah. Fair enough. She is. Definitely is. So far, my travelling experience wasn't going entirely to plan. I assume that I get shit faced at some point, but not literally. You look at pack up our stuff, I'll scope Lucy. Well! 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 Look, Katie, I'm so embarrassed by my friends. It was Neil's fault. He's got this thing that went. What? It was fucking hysterical! Closing down Splash Planet. I mean, everyone is talking about what an absolute legend you are. I'm a legend? I mean, it looked horrific. You were kind yeah. of shit, yeah? <laughs> But the same line, it was literally the funniest thing I've ever seen. We all loved it. The 
made me laugh. Maybe it was worth getting conjunctivitis. <laughs> You're mental. So, uh, what do you want to do later then? Drink? Why to eat? Sea kayaking, zip lining, bungee. Well, come on, you've got a pack. I am talking, Simon. Sorry about that. Pack? What? You can't leave. The gang will be gutted. No, you're not actually leaving, are you? Yes. Well, nothing's finalised. But it's the songline ceremony tonight. Look, it's perfect for you, Will. It's incredibly spiritual. We're going to the outback. That's why Will should be packing up his things right now. Oh, OK. Well, if you're busy, I'll leave you to it. No, Katie. I'm not busy. I apologise to my friend. He's very rude. Now, tell me about sea kayaking. <laughs> it's amazing. They've got these kayaks, right? They go in the sea. Simon, this was not an agreed time for Skype. Lucy, listen, it's really important. Do you know where Jane is staying? Of course I do. Simon, we need to talk about photographers. I think you're going to have to take out another student loan. Christ, really? No. Right, look, fine, whatever. Can you just get me her address? And I've asked Pete to be your best man. Oh, I meant to decide that. Oh, your friends are massive dicks, except Pete. It's Pete or no one. Oh, uh, great, fine, it's Pete. Now, I need that address. Pete's been amazing. Yeah, yeah, Pete's amazing. Uh, please, Lucy. Oh, thanks, me. I am amazing. Good day. <laughs> hey, Pete. Surprise. How are things down under? And I don't mean you're Hey, Lucy, really cheating? Oh, my God. I should have known the way she was doing her hair. <sighs> I thought, ow. She's so crazy about size. She cutting up the stuff, burning and stuff. And she the one cheating. She's absolutely mental. Good day, Pete. Surprise. How are things down under? I don't mean your horrible balls. <laughs> You've got horrible balls. <laughs> you actually have them. <laughs> Banter. So go on, how is it then? Hmm? Not been by shark yet. Worst luck. Thank you. Yeah, some best man you are. I'm the best of the best, mate. You know it. I should be called the brilliant man. Uh, yeah. Um, it's might run a bit of a rush. OK, so she's staying at Bewley Stud Farm near Birdsville. I don't have the exact address because they pick up the post from the town hotel. So what's the house number? I told you I don't have it. It's a massive farm, you div. You'll find it. Yeah, you div. Huh. Of course. Over and out, Captain Kirk. Did you get it? Yeah, 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 she's at a stud farm near Birdsville. Oh, that's me fucked. If she's at a stud farm, then she'll have her pick. I've got no <laughs> chance, I've lost them. Um, the stud farm's where they breed horses. <laughs> yes, I know. I said she really likes horses. <laughs> uh. oh, you won't need a life vest in the car wheel was dry. Get that off, we're leaving. I'm staying here. No, be a dick, just get in the car. No, I'm staying for a bit. Then I can do some real travelling with people who do it properly. What, are those tools in there? They think you're a twat. And I've met someone I like who likes me. Will, be careful. Jay told me that not before mates is actually a crime in Australia. You think you're my mates? You don't do any of the things I like. You don't talk about things I like. And you shit on my face. Why would I come with you? I only shit on your face once. I'm not sure how much clearer I can make it. I'm not coming. Fine, fuck yeah. you. We'll go to Birdsville without you. You're being stupid. You got dumped, just like I got dumped, just like Simon will probably get dumped too. Sorry, I mean divorced. Get over and be realistic. <laughs> Chasing a girl around Australia isn't romantic, Jay. It's extreme stalking. Well, that's exactly what you're doing to Katie. Mm. Grow up, Simon. You grow up. I am grown up. You should grow up. Really? Grow up? <laughs> I am. You're not. So grow up. <laughs> Well, that's grown up. Grow up. Yeah, you should. Yeah. We'll see who's grown up, won't we? Grow up. Grow up. Oh, grow up! <laughs> grow up! <laughs> I feel a bit sad. Can I drive? Yeah, sure. And can I be best man? No, it's fucking Pete. So They went the idiots. Good riddance to them. I was gonna have an authentic experience sea kayaking. I understand you like her, son. I understand you like her, Will. I understand she's she's proper fit, my guy. And you're you probably won't do better. But you can't put you can't put the good the, the girls before you bro, man. You can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Your bro is in need, even though I guess he's really traveling for a girl. But that's a girl that he's in love with, so it's different. Gotta be there for him. <laughs> At least 
I drowned, and it looked like I might drown, people could say he died doing what he did best. Making a twat of himself in front of a girl. <laughs> He said a wobble bob bob. Are you sure you're okay to drive? Yeah, fine. But I think I might cry again. Is it fine now? Nah, no, it's only about 400 miles. You can make that, can't you, Neil? Of course, got a system. <laughs> Maybe we should stop for a bit. <laughs> what system is that? <laughs> That's a di Oh, Neil, why y'all let Neil in the driver's seat is a better question. <laughs> a shake weight? <laughs> oh, my lord, bro. the area with sound we can begin we are sitting on song lines the ancient lines of power that cross australia can you feel the connection mm, yeah it's yeah, sure. amazing yeah. we carry a great responsibility what we say here before the fire we transmit out on the song lines to the rest of the planet let's help heal the world by throwing all the world's negativities onto the fire each think of a negativity and burn it what's your negativity narrow-mindedness good Stephen. Oh, God, where to start? I'm just a seeker who searches her, but present in this moment, away from the past, away from a military father who I love so much, but daddy wasn't around, and away from my distant mother. But I'm here now, in the now, not there. I'm just wondering how to tell mommy what hugs me. She asked what negativity you want to throw on the fire. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Conformity! Excellent. Yeah, really now, what's your negativity, brother? Um... Come on. Um... Negativity. Yes, which one? Just... Negativity. <laughs> Remember, we can help heal the whole world. Betrayal. Pass. Pass? Look, maybe you should just tell me the right answer. <laughs> There's no right answer. Clearly there is, though. <coughs> Raw pot noodle, anyone? Not bad, but a bit crunchy. No, I reckon I'll probably propose to Jane when I see her. What about the time oh, wow. you were seeing? What? You want a black belt and firing ping pong balls out of her fanny? Oh, uh, yeah, no, she had to go back to Vietnam. <coughs> Thailand. Thailand. <laughs> yeah, no, Jane's the one. <coughs> I'll be married, you'll be married, Si. Yeah. So we can go on, like, double dates and stuff. Yeah. This is not that bad, really. Maybe being married to her will be all right. It will be. And it's got to no. be easier than breaking up with her. She's microwaved my PlayStation. <laughs> what the F is wrong with her? Della. <laughs> what on earth, bro? Bro, she's beyond crazy. I don't know Racism. what she is. Oh, I hate that. Then? Negative thoughts. Good. How is that different to saying negativity? <laughs> I swear to God. Let's just respect the song line. <laughs> Christian. Racial hatred. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I already have that one, Chris. What? <laughs> oh, that's racism! What? what is going on? Look at that. He's going to think of another one. Think of another one. So you think racial hatred is a good thing? You know I'm not saying that, Ben. 
She said racism. He said racial hatred. Pick another. Well, there's no right or wrong answers. Yes, there is. You know there is. Let it all flow out. We all support you. There's no judgment here. So you keep saying. Well, in that case, I'd like to throw the poor and disadvantaged onto the fire. And the handicapped, the homeless, and babies. Yes, spazzy little African babies riddled with malaria and AIDS. Oh, there they go. Onto the fire. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. How's that? That is wrong. Yep, thought it might be. <laughs> Excuse me. I throw anger onto the fire. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Stephen. Infidelity. Oh, will you just fucking let it go? <laughs> will, are you okay? Uh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to ruin it. Oh, no, you didn't. No, we still had an amazing connection. Oh, good. That's good. Listen, whatever your energy is when you interact over Firestones, that's your song. And your song is humour. Oh, thank you. And also anger. You have a large, quite deep anger song in you. Frustration, maybe. And sometimes it's hard to hear the humour song with the anger song singing so very loud. I feel that. I agree. You do like me, don't you, Katie? <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> I can't believe she Sorry, ever kissed him this after is a that. Party. No. That drives me crazy. Crazy angry, right? And tingly. <laughs> Bad tingly, but really severe pins and needles. Oh, God, no. Nice. Oh, scary. Like, I don't know how he does it. What is happening here? We've been having this on off thing for ages, and he drives me mental when we fight, but in the end, the animal urge is just too much to ignore. You said he was a dick. Well, I wish you'd get to know him. He is such a spiritual guy. So. You're with him, even though you kissed me. Well, I like you. I kissed you, but I kiss a lot of people, especially when I'm back. What Ben and I have is a deep lust for each other. It's spiritual. Right, that's the last time. Even the dictionary definition of spiritual, which I looked up the other day, suggests yeah. it's about the soul, another vague and probably non-existent concept. I don't think you get it, but that's cool. No, no, I get it all right, you patronising cow. It's you twat. Yeah! That's right, I called you twats. Chill, well. Playing the guitar badly, wearing beads, talking about one love, and pretending you're friends with Central American villagers, who, by the way, despise you, before heading back to your parents' five-bedroom house in Surrey, doesn't make you a spiritual person, it makes you a bellend. <laughs> I think yeah! That's a song, Katie. Oh, fuck off, Ben. You don't believe in song lines any more than I do. It's just a way for you to seem interesting to girls because deep down you know you're boring and pretentious, just like your stupid fucking dreadlocks. Which, by the yeah! way, always look embarrassing on white people. They're not countercultural. They actually scream, oh, I've got a trust fund. So get a normal haircut, you unbearable prick. Yeah, we are! Yeah, we are! That's how you talk to him! We are that! That's my guy, we are right there. That's my guy. When we are known as here, Will takes a lot of crap. He takes a lot of crap. And he takes it and he bottles it up. And he bottles it up. Well, when that bottle, when that top comes off, Leo just blow or <laughs> Will absolutely blows up, bro. With it. He lets it all he lets it all out at one time. To trust fund. So get a normal haircut, you unbearable prick. Goodbye. <laughs> they needed to hear that. I may have won the battle, but I'd lost the war. You By now, my that. real friends were hundreds of miles away. But my fake friends were a little too close to home. I don't know. 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 One ticket to Birdsville, so that'll be three hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, have you flown this route before? No. Okay. Uh, you'll want these then. There's some sick bags because you are going to be sick.
twice. Apart from when they tried to fight us those times. It's the next property site. Just down the Birdsville track. Yeah, not far now, mate. What the fuck is that? Oh. I think it's a prick. to get here. I'm just so lost at the moment with, with uni and I know I've made some bad decisions, but I'm finding it hard to know who I am. Yeah, I don't know about that. I'd better just get going. That, no, 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 listen, please. I don't have many friends and I thought those people were <laughs> grudges. <laughs> 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 I love that they, they 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 fight, they go through crap, but you know, they always end up, you know, they're so forgiving of each other. No matter what they go through, they're so forgiving, bro. I love it, I love it. <laughs> Did they say exactly how far the next farm is? Oh shit, we're on the white bit of the petrol meter. Oh, don't worry about that. Eh? That's a con by car makers and oil people to get you to buy more. I once went to Portugal and back on the white bit. Don't know, it looks quite low. <laughs> Please, let's just keep going. This is gonna mate. be bad. There's bound to be a petrol station around here somewhere. It's gonna be bad. They're gonna burn to death. Don't worry, I just coached it for a couple of miles. Yeah. Uh, he meant a couple of feet. It's very hot in here. Oh yeah, sorry about that. I had the eating on. What now? <laughs> Wait for someone to pass by to help. Ah, <laughs> bollocks. Uh, just find the AI and they'll come pick us up. How's the reception on your phone? Did. Oh, fuck. Exactly. We should get out of the car though, it's essentially an oven. It's not that much cooler out of the car, to be fair. All right, we're in a bit of a spot here. We've got to keep calm, do not panic. How much water have we got? None. Okay, bad <laughs> start. We'll be fine. There'll probably be a wise old Aboriginal along any minute. Have a think. In the two hours since we left Birdsville, how many cars have we seen? Oh, none. None is correct. Now, how many wise old Aboriginals? None. None. Fucking none. <laughs> we aren't in England anymore. We're somewhere actually genuinely dangerous. Don't shit your pants. I know Australia. Someone will be along in a minute. But what if they aren't? They will be. Anyone want a drink? Have you got water? No, just wondered. Really thirsty. Neil's an idiot. I doubt it. Actually, Neil, in the desert without water, we'll die in a day. I think we're going to be fine. How, Simon? Tell me how we're going to be fine. People will be looking for us. Who? Who even knows we're missing? Or cares? Your dad? Jay's uncle? Your mum would if she wasn't too busy getting fucked by a stranger. <laughs> oh, it's nasty, but it's probably true. We could drink our piss. What? No, honestly, it's all right. Do it occasionally. Hey, a bit of my spunk once, too. You're oh! I need a piss, and it seems a shame to waste it. I'm here. Neil, do you have to do that here? If you can't see it actually coming out the end, it's not rude. Wait a minute. There's probably some water in the windscreen washer pod. We can share that out. Perfect. This should keep us going. Uncle Jay sorts it again. <laughs> He's such an idiot. <sighs> so, obviously. Seriously, we do need a plan. I saw that film where the bloke got stuck in the desert. Oh, he's so dumb! Cut his arm off with a pen knife. Oh. Right. Any other ideas? And I watched every episode of Bear Grylls Man vs. Wild. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. 
What would Bear suggest we do in this situation, Neil? OK, well, for starters, when we get a salmon, we've just got to bite into the middle of it, like, even though it's raw. There isn't any water. Where are we going to get a salmon from, you fucking idiot? Shop. <laughs> oh, my God, I hate it. Neil's got a point, though. We should split up and search the area for water sources. Get a salmon? Yes. Jay's not loyal. Jay ain't loyal to the squad, bro. Jay is savage. Come on, man. Thanks very much, Dad. Thanks for not teaching me. I don't even know how that happened, bro. The thing I would ever need to know my entire fucking life. Oh, go and do a sociology degree. That'd be fucking helpful. Oh, yeah. Well, Mistakes wandering around, failing to find water, just uses up calories. We've learned that. That's good. I can't believe we didn't bring any sun cream. Not even like Factor Eight. Even some shitty Factor Eight would make the situation better. God, I'd love some Factor Eight right now. Oh my gosh, a lake! A fucking lake! We're saying that I can't believe we never spotted that. It's a mirage, Neil. Is it Australian yeah. for lake? Yeah, it means because you're hot, you're seeing things. What if it is a lake? You're seeing things. It's an illusion. Well, if I was seeing things, I'd be seeing cool things like Optimus Prime banging <laughs> Katy Perry yeah. or uh, Jay the size of a house, but all his fingers are covering his <laughs> flakes. I want water more than anything. Okay, that's water sign. Don't worry. This is it. We're saved. Thank you, Bear Grylls. Hey, about to drop off. Smoothie. I can't think of anything I want to do less right now than wank. Jesus. Things are even more serious than I thought. now, I think. You should really only drink your own sigh. So dehydrated, I can't piss. Neil, please, help. I'm dying. Of course, mate. Oh, my God, bro. This is disgusting. Uh. <sighs> sorry, sorry, I got no more piss. That's all right, mate. Thanks for trying. I was trying, sorry. That's that's the most disgusting. Like these guys, it ne it never gets that close in friendship. Uh, I just you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll just have to die. I just gotta die at that point, you know? I just gotta welcome death. Sorry, sorry, I got no more piss. Before I That's do right, that. Mate. Thanks for trying. 
I was trying, so I really was. It's just no. Oh. <laughs> you guys too. Why is it my you? How long after a poo can you have sex? Please don't make this my last thought. I never found out and <laughs> I never know. <laughs> I hate you. You're not I can't good. see very well. I think it's just the brightness. Close your eyes. But you said I don't. This will be the worst way to go out. Go ahead. Cheers. Is this proper traveling? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Shall we? Yeah, I suppose. <gasps> A car. Save my guys. Somebody got to save my guys. Call you a stupid cunt? Uh, we're saved! We're saved! We're saved! We're saved! We're saved! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, you pums of a drama. You've only been out here two hours. <laughs> so long maybe like at least 10 to 12 but i guess i didn't notice that it was always the sun never went down so i was like i was taking at least 10 to 12 hours bro they was ready to die after two hours <laughs> oh my lord me you pumps of a drama you've only been out here two hours <laughs> Oh my god, look at you. I love you. Will you marry me? I'm sorry about the wee fit. No, Jay. Is your lip all right? Yeah. Jay, did you really come all this way out here just to find me? Yeah. 
the... Not because I miss you, but because I've got an STD. And the doctor said I have to tell all my former lovers, and you're the last, number 6004. So, <coughs> that's that bit we're good. 6004? Don't forget, a lot of them was orgies. <laughs> Everything's been rubbish since you left. I work in a toilet and I live in a tank. Oh, come here. So, do you want to get back together? No, no, that's definitely not happening. Hashtag dumped again. Come on. Let's get you ah, Jesus hey. Christ, the last time I saw something that soppy, I was pulling my cock out of it. Now let's head back to the farm. I'm not sure we're in a state of travel. I think we need serious medical attention. What you need is some fucking after sun and a beer. Now, take your clothes off and get in the ute. Shit, mum was right. It's the best thing for the sunstroke. You need the heat to leave your body quickly. All right, fine. Of course. Plus, makes you easier to rape. <laughs> to leave the outback. Although some things would stay with us forever. Namely, the sight of Neil's meaty penis. James <laughs> Boss rehydrated us, fixed the car, and then we headed back to civilization. If you can call Uncle Brian's house civilized. And then Neil pissed over my head, but I didn't manage to drink any of it. And then we gave up, but the stud farmer sent some people to look for us. And we were on the news, though they called us pommy morons. And everyone flown over because they were worried. But everything's changed loose. I am so lucky to be alive. And this world is just the most beautiful thing. And you are so great. And I can't wait to get married. I love you, Lucy. I've been sleeping with Pete. We are new Sorry? Me and your best man, Pete, have been having sex. Good sex. Is this role playing again? Like when I said I'd bummed Will. You're uh, such a dopey prick. I still can't believe you come out and been nutsacked. You're nutsacked? I can't believe we're the same species. I mean, look at him, weedy and retarded. He's like one of them X Men freaks, Dr. Lawn Fucker or something. Oh my ah, god. Hey. That's all my darling. Oh. Oh, I've missed you so much. I was lost in the desert too. Anyway, I don't really want to be friends, but Pete said it would be better if we were. Wait a minute, you're breaking up with me? Yes. So. I'm single, and now Pete has to go out with you. Yes, Simon! Yeah! <laughs> oh, hello, Mrs. McKenzie. Oh, hello, Simon. Your parents asked me to check if you're okay. Me? Fucking brilliant. Absolutely fucking brilliant. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Mr. What? <gasps> no! Will, you didn't deserve this. You didn't deserve this, Will. This, this should not have happened. Oh my God. Oh. No way. Fucking brilliant. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Mr. Gilbert, what are you doing here? You have no jurisdiction. Oh, Phil's just, just helping me out with a couple of things. I don't follow. Phil, do I need to spell it out for you, Mackenzie? Okay. Well, when a man loves a lady very much, Blood rushes to the genital area, enlarging significantly the penis. Or in this case, my penis. Well, I mean, we wanted to tell you in person, and then we just thought you getting lost was a perfect excuse to come and see you. And then we thought, oh, let's just make it into holiday. And, um, have you got any recommendations? We've booked a barrier reef tour. Yes, I'm very much looking forward to going diving. Gay. <laughs> mm <-hmm. Okay. gasps> Oh my god! Oh my wheel! Okay, so here's some bad news. It turns out we did die in the desert because I appear to be in hell. Christ, <laughs> <laughs> my dad get me wrong. I'm glad you stopped fucking me, garden, but what was you thinking going on that way for a fat chick? <laughs> what did you just say? About the spunk? Uh oh. No, after that. Oh, I bet you chasing the fat chicken here. Hey, you're lucky fatty. Boom, boom, didn't eat you out there in the desert. Yes, you're Jay! Fucking hungry, man. Yeah. Thank you, Jay. Yeah, yeah, good. I mean, good for time. Was weak as fuck, obviously. More like a slap. <laughs> you taught him how to punch like a girl, I presume. Watch it, Brian. At least your boy's got some spunk, Terry. Problem is, it's only around his mouth and asshole. I said, watch it. Or well, what? You slapped me too. Here we go. Get in here. Get in here, you ugly fucking fuck. I'll give it to you. Ah, you monster. I'll fucking give it to you again. Now, Should we go? It's going to be like my cousin's wedding. Yeah. 
I was thinking about maybe not going back to England for a bit. Maybe we could do some more travelling. The Vietnam's nice. Anyone fancy it? No, I'm in. I've still got some shit to sort out for the CIA there. Of course. Neil? Yeah, I'd love to go travelling. Hey, if we go far enough, we might find your mum. Well, fuck off. Sorry, Neil. Tell you what, my ping pong fanny girl's got a mate. I could set you two up. Nice one. Shake on it. Cheers, mate. He's a lady boy. So oh, far. Too late. You shook on it now. Bad luck. Thanks. No, you got a fucking man with tits. <laughs> or a girl with a penis. Oh, will help me out. Sorry, Neil. You shook on it. <laughs> Sorry, just stick to the top half. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm so sad that this is the end, bro. I feel like my heart's about to shatter, man. I needed more. I needed more, but that's how we got. This is it for the in-betweeners. It's been so fun. They've been an amazing group of friends. I feel like I'm the fifth member of the group at this point. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys got a favorite video suggestions, TV show suggestions, uh, you can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, get a video, thumbs up, so we suggest it. It's your boy Dina. Out.